what's up everybody it's robert coming to you from the old bird farm and we're gonna be i got the clearing bug we've been clearing so much land over here that i just i want to keep going and that's what we're going to do today assuming the rain holds off it's been sprinkling and you know just being georgia for the past uh couple days and today it started raining a little bit so hopefully we can get some of the stuff knocked out before it starts raining again but before we get to work let me just give you a quick recap of what we've cleared all right so side of the house there and we'll come on around and there it is there's our big cleared field there i had a neighbor of mine that i saw earlier today she told me she said your place is looking good i can see right through it now and you sure can we've got this nice section of yard here cleared open i mean look at that that's just amazing and i just i want to note i've had lots of comments thoughts theories on the muck over there but i just want you to look here at this ground and just kind of observe how you know i drove through all of this and the ground stayed very stable like here's the dirt that's you know from that actually that might have been a clot of mud that dried up from the other side but anyway the ground stayed very stable here but it's like we cross an imaginary line behind this tree right here And that's where it's gotten all just nasty and muddy see we just crossed this line and all back there all back there is nasty and muddy and then another clearing i've done i've never had land turn like this i'm thinking about i've heard lots of different theories on it um some theories that there might be a spring here somewhere and i mean it's it's possible it's possible there was definitely never a pond here um i've heard that theory too that there might have been a pond here at one time but there was never a pond here um historically speaking but a spring maybe maybe wet weather spring um soil compaction and a clay layer maybe anyway i think maybe one day i'll get out here and dig and just see what happens um it's rained out here of course but the ground is still super soft and mucky but it's actually firmed up a little bit a very little bit um it's firmed up of course we haven't been in here churning it but probably pick the the wettest spot which is right over there dig down one day and see what happens you can see where there's still standing water but that's just from the rain that we've had um of course you know these filled up with water too when i rutted them out now when i first started clearing here i was walking through these woods and i'm talking about a couple years ago and there were there was a little little bit of water on the top of the ground back here that i thought was weird and some of these grasses that aren't growing right now that specifically grow around wet weather areas and i thought that was fascinating so you know could be could be or just could be soil compaction and poor drainage but this is a mess back here but we're clearing through this area and i told you i've got the the bug to clear to continue clearing so i want to push back let me actually let me take you back here we'll just we'll do a little tour if i can make it through this is still super soggy this area here is where i sank up up a foot when i almost lost my shoe This area right here, this is probably the wettest right here. So, out of all of this, oh, ew, terrible. All right, there we go. Through the muck, on to the other side. So here we go we're on the field road now to kind of orient you the campers there house of course behind that 
that's all that we've cleared you know before um, you couldn't see that field from beside the camper here because it looked like that so again I'm just kind of doing this walk around to show you what we're doing before beforehand or what the plan is so I'm gonna come in here from this side and start trying to knock up and pile up in there so we can burn it and then of course we got some more scrap metal and stuff to clean up in here and as you can see the woods start thinning out or the wisteria jungle rather starts thinning out as we get further back this way That is a big old woodpecker. You guys probably didn't get to see that, but that's a big bird. So anyway, so the woods get to thinning out right here. Then you've obviously just walked through where we cleared before. And then over on the other side of the field road is where we did the big clearing here for the, the chicken coop field. And also see how well the winter rye that I planted is taking off in there providing that nice green patch and also helping stabilize the soil in there. So we'll keep going. And you can see the wisteria starts thinning out more and more and more until we get to another imaginary line. Although this one isn't entirely imaginary because there's a barbed wire fence there where the wisteria 75% just stops. And of course, I've already cleared this area a few videos back. I did lots of work in the campground area, as I call it, through here. You can see we still got some a ways to go over here behind the chicken coop field. So we had to push back to this other fence line, but on the other side of this fence line, big, big clearing. On this side of the property, we just have from Sarge's Garden, which is right here. That's the name for this area right here. So we've got to knock all this out and then meet back where we've been working just behind the house. So that's the next plan. Clear this whole area, and that's why I wanted to shoot a good before video of it that you guys can watch and then see how it looks after the fact. I'll have to do this again. And there we are, back here where we've been clearing. Back into the muck zone. And it'll be interesting to find out how much, as we go back that way, how much turns into land like this. Just mucky. This is probably one of the ugliest parts of the old bird farm property. I've got that huge cinder block graveyard over there too um, that's going to need some getting rid of other bits and pieces of scrap metal. You know, we're still in a big cleanup phase. Oh, oh no, I'm sinking, I'm sinking. There. <laughs> Don't want to sink. There's a tractor just sitting in the mud being mistreated like that. Let's see, let me walk through here. Yuck. Yeah, so one of these days, I'm going to dig there. I'm going to dig in an area over here and see what happens. See if it starts filling up with water. All right, more nastiness here. And that's why I talked about going ahead and starting from the field road side and pushing in and coming this way because 
we don't want to work in this anymore especially not since it's rained since the other day got a little bit more rain supposed to come today we want to start as dry as possible also on this tour video i'll show you these other foundation blocks um i also there are some theories in the comments that maybe this is an old spring house i jokingly said that i don't believe that this has anything to do with the spring house ever being here um, they're scattered out i think it was from archie bird's house which was up there or the big barn that was behind archie bird's house which is right in here somewhere that was probably pushed into this property when it was cleared as we've got foundation pieces there we've got the foundation pieces up there where i really started sinking in and then as we go on through here now y'all remember this remember how this looks right now as we go through because we're about to we're about to make this look as clear as it does over there anyway here's some more foundation block here so it's all scattered along this property line i think that when they were clearing that field they just pushed it over here still neat pieces i plan on leaving them there um, just as part of the history of the property We just kind of look through here. Got another section of fence right here that we'll have to take down. So some more wire that'll be leaving the property. Then we'll cross over there and you know keep clearing out. But that's it, folks. That's the big tour of the swampland and the future future cleared area. So I'm gonna let this video just be this tour of this area. You guys soak it up and remember what this looks like as we go through here. Because on the next video and what I'm about to start now, we're gonna be clearing it out and making it just as clear as other parts of the property have been. Fingers crossed. Let's make our way through these vines here. There we go. Fingers crossed. We'll make it look just as good as all this other stuff. And the clearing will go easy as I make my way through the muck. All right. I'll see you on the next video starting off at the field road.